Hey everyone, this is Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on YouTube, and of course I'm the CEO of Wingspan Delivery Services. Now today I'm putting together a video to explain Tripwire, Tripwire wormhole mapping software. And the reason I'm putting this video together is twofold. One is because I think there's a lot of people who are my subscribers who are interested in how I do things in my stealth bomber wormhole space who want to know how to get around and how to map what wormhole mapping even is, how to do it. Second is because Tripwire is required for everyone in my corporation, and there's definitely a few people in the corporate who have trouble understanding how to use Tripwire. So I'm just going to put this guide together to show uh, whether you're new or sort of new to Tripwire how it works. You see up here the URL is tripwire.cloud-things.com. You can sign up there. I'm not. This is not going to be a video about how to sign up for Tripwire, how to make an API or anything like that. This is this is going to assume you already made an account, you've already like put together your settings and imported a character and a corporation and all things like that. I'm not going to help you figure out how to put in your name into a box. That's not what this video is about. But I will basically just do a quick walkthrough to explain how this works. So once you sign into Tripwire, what's going to happen is it's going to bring you to a page that may or may not show the system you are currently in. Okay, here we see I'm in J122246. Um, it's going to show the server, activity time, all this crap up here, and then a bunch of other stuff. And if this doesn't look exactly the same to you, that's because you can actually unlock tripwire and you can move the boxes around and resize them and stuff so you'll have the same boxes as me they may not be in the exact same place but um, you can just move them around to your liking up here at the top is going to be the wormhole map chain and this is going to show you exactly where all the systems you've mapped are and right here I'm starting with none maps even though I actually did map them previously I deleted them so we can start over so I can show you the process over here is an information panel that's going to show you information about the system you're in in wormhole space because of the way um, CCP handles it. There's not going to be any information about most of this stuff, but there is still useful information here. You'll still see the class of wormhole. It's a C2, class 2, and you'll see a list of statics and the types of wormholes that lead to those statics. So the B274 wormhole is always going to go to high sec, and the Y683 static is always going to go to a class 4. And if you don't know what a static wormhole is or anything like that, um, there t you, you, if you still need information about what wormholes are, what wormhole systems are, that's a whole separate video, a whole separate, there's all kinds of information out there. Um, but this is useful information for mapping. Down here is a space for notes. So if you wanted to make a note or something like that, you could come in here and put like, you know, the inhabitants here really need torpedoes. Um, and you could save a note. And this is great because you could come back uh, if, you, if you've been to a system before, you can put some kind of note in, or if you just want to remember something, you spot something, you see a character name or something like that, you can leave notes. And over here is where signatures go, cosmic signatures. And I've moved my probe scanner over here, which is, so, as you can see, I can't normally play like this. I don't normally play this like this. I normally have a, a lot of these windows over to my second monitor, but I've moved them over here um, for the sake of uh, this video right now. And this is where cosmic signatures go, and this is the key to using tripwire successfully, which I'll, I'll explain uh, momentarily. Now, I, what I do want to show real quick is if, if you don't see some of this stuff, it's possible that some of your settings may be wrong. So there's a couple things you need to do. First of all, always when you start using Tripwire here, is click the current system button. And that'll reload the window to your current system because it is possible to view systems other than your current system, but that can make things very complicated quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you could end up viewing a lot of wormhole chains that have nothing to do with where you are and then you'll get lost and you won't know what's going on. So always click the system name up here to go to your current system. You can of course always override that by cl clicking system search up here and then typing in system manually, but we're not gonna do that right now. You also want to make sure that this little arrow is on, the fast forward arrow, follow my in-game system. You want this to be glowing orange, and what that means is as you change from system to system, uh, Tripwire is going to keep up with where your ship is and, and update the map accordingly. You'll also want this um, auto mapper on down here in orange, and, and I'll explain what that's going to, you'll see what that does in a little bit. So there's a couple of different types of views up here, and what I would generally recommend you do is to not use any of these buttons. And it really depends what you're doing. You'll see there are purposes for it. So one thing is, for instance, you can, just, you can designate a home system. So let's say your home system is Thera. Your home system is J122246. You can designate it as your home system. And what that means is it's only going to show wormholes that make connections to and from your home system. So because I haven't set a home system, it's not going to show anything. So that's why I have that turned off. But for instance, if you have a POS in a specific system, 
you set that system as your home, it's very useful for seeing where you can go from home. Like if you're just logging on and your other court mates have scanned down signatures and they're using Tripwire, it'll show the stuff that they've scanned down. Here you can have add viewing system to chain and that's again if you are in a system other than the system you're currently viewing it'll add it to the chain here and again that gets a little complicated add favorite systems to chain if you des designated any system as a favorite it'll add it so you see here this little star to add as a favorite if I put this as a favorite and I turn this on then even if I'm outside of the system it'll show it in the chain now here are two that are more commonly used first you could turn on the Eve Scout there for Thera, and this will pull information from Eve Scout, which is that website that maps Thera wormhole chains, and show you um, all the known connections to Thera. This is very useful, and of course you could click through uh, to one of these places, and if you had additional information here, but you'll see then it loads um, some information about that system, but uh, outside of that there's no, see, like there, and it shows, you know, going over to Thera. So there's that. Okay, and then here's this one, show all case-based chains. What this does is it loads up all the information from everyone else in your corporation about any wormhole chains that they've scouted. And you'll see here, because we have 150 people in corp, there's quite a few chains scanned. It doesn't show all the information, it shows some very basic information. But for instance, it shows that if I go to Akiva right now, Akiva goes to Thera, and I could take any of these other exits. Or if I go over to Hatakin, Hatakin goes to J12. Da, 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 da. So there's this information here. Um, it's very useful for trying to figure out if, if you if someone tells you, hey, um, chance, I'm over in J133957. I need to get I need some help over here. I can come in here and look at this map and see. Okay, J133957 is a C4. To get there, I need to go to Hama. Um, and then go through this C2 and then go C4 and of course working with your corporation to have good corp bookmarks is also very important. So this is not a very useful view for your like your personal mapping but this is a useful view for having a quick overview of where people in your corporation are, uh, where people might need help, what some opportunities may be, um, where the decent chains are or if you're you know in a wormhole chain that doesn't look very promising you can go like oh maybe it looks like someone started scanning down um, over here off of Hatakin, but no one went into these C3s and C5s and scanned them down, so I'll go that way. So those are the options. So now, coming back, now coming back to the main screen, um, how to just start with Tripwire. So one of the most important things with Tripwire that people don't do is to use this signature panel. Now you can manually add signatures one by one, but that's only if you completely hate yourself. So what you should typically do is, you, what you want to do is go to your probe scanner, have it set to cosmic signatures, so you see all the cosmic signatures. You want to turn on show anomalies. I personally find this is useful uh, for intel reasons, and this, you don't really need to do it, but it depends. Um, but I like to do it. You, what you want to do is hit Control A to select all these signatures. You want to hit Control C to copy, and then you want to come in your probe window and hit Control V to paste. It's going to say paste detected. It's going to paste all the information here. Okay, look at that. That's beautiful. And now all this information is here. And what's great now is that. There's a couple things. One is you can take a quick glance and you don't have to look at this. Two is that now this information is available for everyone in your corporation, not just you. Uh, three is that let's say you're in this wormhole system, whether it's your home system or you're just living here for a while and you want to sleep overnight or stay here for a couple of days. If I log in the next day and see that um, JXJ is gone or VOW is gone or new sites are gone and whatever, then I know that someone has cleared them or they despawned or whatever. So you can also track when things have changed and then you can go here in the notes and I can make a note that says something like, uh, looks like someone's running all the relic sites or looks like there may be a war going on here or looks like the main wormhole has collapsed and write in those notes. And of course, at any time, you can um, delete any of these signatures by hitting the X or you can update or change them um, by hitting this little carrot over here. Now let's look at how the actual wormhole mapping uh, works using this system and for that I'm going to actually go um, <laughs> into some scanning do it. Now I am going to cheat because I know where the wormholes are already um, but you know you, you won't necessarily have that luxury. Okay so I'm going to decloak and launch my probes probes away and I know for instance that KRH is a wormhole. Now again I've cheated a little bit here because I already scanned these down I know that KRH is over here so I'm just going to bring my, my probes right over here and scan it down. And by the way, if you ever um, miss bookmarking a wormhole, you can still, you'll still see it on your, uh, on your map. It'll still be on your map, so you can do this essentially if you see the little worm, unstable wormhole on your map. 
you can essentially do this without having to scan down from scratch again. I can just pull it straight down to 0.25 AU because I already know where it is. Cloak active, warp to 20. And I always recommend warping to 20 wormholes for two reasons. Um, the one is because if you warp to zero, you're instantly uncloaked. If you are cloaked, it, now this is assuming you're in a Kovab ship. If you are not in a Kovab ship, you may want to warp to zero or ten. If you warp to ten, sometimes uh, just the way the placement works, your space brakes don't work. You can slide into the wormhole a little bit and get decloaked. So I always warp to twenty. It's a pretty safe distance. Um, and here we go. So I'm gonna land on grid with the wormhole. Um, here we go. It's over here. Very good. As you can see, it's unstable. And I'm going to get the wormhole information. Okay, show info. And by the way, wormhole Y683. Y683. And you can see here in my overview, this is more useful uh, than the probe scanner for a second. So now, this is where we'll be updating Tripwire. So there's two ways you could do this. And I'll show you the first way. The first way is I've just scanned down uh, KRH here, right? KRH. What I can do is, you know, it's the, there's the different types of sites. I can set it to wormhole. I could say that it's type Y683, it'll just automatically update. Uh, the lifespan is not stable, it's critical, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit save. And you'll see here immediately this gets added and it knows it's a C4 because it knows that there's a class 4 static that's a Y683 here. And that's it. So it doesn't know where it goes yet, I still have to jump through for that, but first I'm going to do a little bit more scanning um, and then, we'll, then we'll, we'll do some jumping you'll see what happens there. Okay, so then here's the uh, JLM, which I believe I read it incorrectly as ILM. Maybe you have Industrial Light and Magic on the mind here. It's over here. No, it's over here. There we go. Bring my probes over here. And this should be going to high sec, uh, if I have this correct. I was wrong. Now we see, now this is actually interesting, even though I'm wrong. Um, you see here that I found out that there's a couple gas sites, right? What I can do is I can, again, once control A, control C, copy everything. And if I come, and you don't have to paste over here. You can be anywhere in this window other than in a note. If you paste, it'll just update automatically. So now you see a bunch of the sites got updated as gas. Uh, they're gas sites. So let's see here. Which of these? GKL. And I, what I can do is I can also use my bookmarks here. I had already saved some signatures. GKL, for instance, is a data site. Uh, Ruin Serpentis Temple. It's a, it's actually a relic site. So what I can do for GKL is I can come in here and update it and say I know for a fact it's a relic site. So I'm just going to put that in. And now that's updated. See, like right, right there. And again, you don't have to manually do that. If you've already scanned it down, you can just Control A. Uh, you can just copy and paste it into there. I'm just letting you know. Um, and now I know that I don't need to scan this down because I've already scanned it down. Okay, and here we have a wormhole. Hopefully it is the high sec static because I actually would just like to know where the high sec static is. And again, it's useful for yourself. All this stuff's useful for yourself, but it's also just useful in general for your corporation. If you have other people in your corporation um, who are scanning down wormholes with you or going down the chain or whatever, and you, it doesn't have to be limited even to a corporation. You can in Tripwire set settings for who has permissions to see your wormhole chains. Okay, so it's going to warp over here. Warp drive active. Which was the other one I was looking at? This one over here? Let's just see. Just in case. Just in case. Can't hurt to scan it down. There we go. And uh, by the way, cosmic signatures are always within 4 AU of a planet. So in general, you want to set your things to 4, um, and pinpoint it 4, and then drop it directly on the planet. And 99% of the time, it's going to fall in that spot. It seems every now and then it falls outside of it, but I don't know exactly why, but um, maybe it's more like it's always within 4.2 AU or something like that. Or my positioning is just not as good as I thought it was. Okay, so let's look at the overview here. Ah, and we see it is the B274 to high sec, B274. So one thing we can do, by the way, uh, and you want to do this at every step, you want to again copy and paste over here. It's going to update. No, we know that um, UTA is a wormhole. And what I'm, what I'm going to do this time is instead of, um, instead of updating it manually by clicking this, I'm just going to show you another feature. And I, you know, I just forget this thing. I don't need this right now. What I'm going to do is show you another feature of Tripwire. So of course, I'm going to be a responsible person. I'm going to be saving my wormhole location. Hey, everyone in Wingspan Delivery Services, this is what you should be doing. OK, so this is the high sec. Um, it's going to be collapsing sometime 12, probably 1228. It is a uh, UTA and it is a static. Okay. And this is how you should be saving your wormholes, people. Don't make me have to send friggin' court mail again. All right, saving the wormhole. 
Now I'm gonna enter the wormhole and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Watch now I get fucking ganked while I'm making a goddamn instructional video. Now watch this. So this is very useful if you don't feel like manually updating everything. And manually updating is better when you don't plan to jump through the wormhole. But when you do plan to jump through it, watch this. So now that I've jumped through, what's going to happen is... Oh. Oh, well then. I guess there was it didn't even need to worry. It, it was going to ask me which one um, do you jump through, but it actually knew. It knew which one I jumped through, so it, it just updated the map automatically. What, what happens is, see I was surprised there, but I guess it's because I already mapped um, because I already mapped the other static, and I knew there's one static left. Here we go, this goes into the C2. Because it knew there's only one static left, it was able to correctly guess that this was the high sec static. Uh, to Marthea here, but what happened is, let's say you've only, you, let's say there's like six wormholes in system, right? If there are six wormholes in system, some of them are static, some aren't, you scan them down, you paste them in here real fast, and again, that's really fast to do, just copy and paste on the probe scanner, then when you jump through a wormhole, what it'll sometimes do is ask you, which wormhole did you just jump through? Was it UTA? Was it OGE? Like, it'll give you the signature ID here, IDs here that it knows are wormholes, and just it'll just have a pop-up with a ch please choose one. Then you just hit it and press OK, and it'll update the map. So you don't have to actually manually go in here every single time and just click this and edit this and type in the ID. That's that's the old way of doing it in Tripwire. Now it's been updated to have that feature, and it's a really nice feature. But now we see I'm in Marthea, right? So now you see the map's been updated. We have the information about Marthea here. We see it's a high sec. Um, we see here that it's got this um, going into the C2. If we go to the probe scanner, once again, what I can do here is control A, uh, control C, control V. And now at this point, it doesn't actually know um, which signature I'm going in. But of course, I don't actually know because I've just jumped through here. I haven't scanned them down. But because we know that uh, cosmic signatures typically land within 4 AU of celestials and things like that, I'm gonna guess that it's CKB. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna put the ID in as CKB, now again, if you don't know, you don't have to fill this in, but th this is a pretty damn good guess. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite, because that's empty right now, and it's going to update. So it's going to say CKB, it's going to overwrite it. And that's it! So this is, for the most part, how Tripwire works. There really isn't anything more to it than that. What you just got to make sure you do is that you, you know, continually do the copy-paste from your probe scanner to give Tripwire more information. You want to, of course, to save your own wormhole bookmarks for your own well-being. And then when you jump through, either what you want to do is manually update with these carrots over here, or when the pop-up shows up, you want to just answer the question to ask you with the information you have, and uh, it'll update the map. This is really useful for yourself to, so you don't get lost, so you know, oh, that's right. When I was in J122246, uh, the way I have to get home is to take my bookmark that goes to UTA. UTA, if you, or if you forget, if you didn't save a bookmark and you know how to rescan it down, you take the UTA uh, to go to high sec. And of course, your friends can know that they can go through Marthea to get into the C2 at J122. Well, everyone, I'm Wingspan TT. Um, I hope this is useful. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about Tripwire, please let me know. Again, I didn't make Tripwire, so if they're technical questions, I won't be able to to answer them or anything like that. But I hope this is useful to all my subscribers and everyone in Wingspan Delivery Services. Until next time, cheers.